Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are covering some La Liga team of the season predictions today because that is the next team of the season squad that is going to be released inside of FIFA 21 after the Premier League is over. So we're taking a look at La Liga, right? We've got a big time headline player with Lionel Messi. We've got guys like potentially Suarez, Benzema, Joao Felix for some of the attackers that could potentially be in. Now, of course, the way they're doing Todd squads this year, only about 15 players, then a couple of SBCs and objectives. So it's definitely not as many players as we have seen in the past. But hopefully, we get away from this whole not very big boosts. You know, Premier League Tots didn't have that big of a boost, but the Community Tots did. So hopefully it was only Prem. Hopefully they see, hey, we, people were not happy with that Premier League Tots, and hopefully they give the juice on these cards. So we're going to take a look at the 15 cards that we think could be in La Liga team of the season based off of their real-life performances and also look at their potential FIFA card with some pretty realistic looking upgrades. And we're going to start with the attackers. And that is going to be Lionel Messi, of course, as you see. Now, we gave him a 99. I'm not sure if Lionel Messi is actually going to get that 99 because for some reason, it seems like they're not giving 99 rated cards. Supposedly, somebody said there's some deal with Pelé. And like, he's the only 99 rated card with his moments. And nothing's going to come after that. That is 99 rated. So, not sure how much um, legitimacy there is there. But... This is like going to be one of the worst team of the season Messi cards that we've seen, man. Without having the pace almost maxed out in the high 90s, it's kind of an L. I mean, if you look back in the past two years from team of the season, you take a look at FIFA 20 team of the season Messi, 98 pace, 99 shot, 93 passing, 99 dribbling right wing card. You look at FIFA 19, 99 pace as well. So a lot of 99s on the cards from previous years. But honestly, this year on Messi, I mean, if we take a look at his team of the year card from this year in FIFA 21, it's nowhere near close where some of these cards have been before. You know, 73 physical versus what you had last year on his Tots at 80. He had 98 pace this year on his team of the year, only had 93. So, I, I mean, I'm being realistic when we put a card like this for Messi here on this page. Now, if it is center forward, that could be interesting. Um, if they do make team of the season Messi a center forward, but for the past few years, he has been right wing. And if he is center forward, I think that would add a little bit of value to the card. Um, but again, it's just, I, I'm just trying to be realistic with these ratings. I think Messi's going to kind of be kind of cheap, right? I mean, Messi's team of the year card is 2.6 million coins right now. And with, of course, um, this is not a new card that we would be expecting or not expecting, right? So it's not had, it doesn't have a lot of extra hype. Messi isn't really that meta this year is in the game. So, I mean, we're potentially looking at this Messi team of the season card being somewhere around 2 million coins, maybe a little bit less by the time it's all said and done in the next couple of weeks. And of course, the card like this Messi is going to get re-released into Ultimate Tots as well. Now we've got Benzema here as well as another striker card. Now he's been very popular this year in FIFA because of that headliners street card. This is his Tots from last year. I mean, I don't think we get anywhere near this card this year. This card, uh, the Tots Benzema last year was around a million coins, about 880 to a mil. If they're going to give Benzema a big boost, they got to give him plus five pace. He's got to get that 90 pace, but I'm just fearing that he won't get it. Of course, this card's probably going to be pretty fun. People like using this headliner Benzema, but he's only 200K, right? So if we're taking a look again at this Benzema card, as we go through these, this, this guy's probably only going to be like, Four to five hundred thousand coins, maybe six hundred K, unless they give a huge, huge boost for this La Liga Tots card. Gerard Moreno here is our third attacking card as a striker, gonna have some pace. Uh, you know, probably gonna be pretty cheap as well, but you know, maybe a pacey striker that you can put in your La Liga side. I don't expect that card to be too much more than like 200,000 coins with the, those stats right there. Now let's move on to the midfielders because there's some potential big boys that could be midfielders in this team. I mean, look at that Marcus Llorente card. 92 rated right mid from Atletico. That card looks ridiculous. Even with, I mean, they wouldn't have to give him that big of a boost to make his card look nutty from what he has had this year. He's got that 86 rated right mid in form card, which we're going to take a look at right now. This card could be insane if you give him like a plus five or a plus six boost. Of course, getting into that 90, 92 pace probably getting close to 90 physical 90 dribbling i hope they do this guy well and give him the juice because i think that your rent card would be something a lot of people would be interested in 
uh, with the Spanish links, with the Atletico Madrid links. There's a lot of Atletico Madrid specials. Of course, the Joao Felix cards that have been out uh, all year long, like his Player of the Month, stuff like that. All the objectives, like the Correa card that we had, I know that was a right mid, but whether this Llorente is a right mid, a center mid, a CDM, whatever it is, that card looks ridiculous. A very popular card in the game. That one might end up being, you know, five, six hundred thousand coins with the hype that card could have. So just kind of something to watch out for there. Casemiro could be getting in with hopefully a pace upgrade. Now he's had a team this season in some of the recent years as well, uh, but it hasn't been like that good. I think it was it was FIFA 19 where he had a Tots card potentially. No, he has not. Actually, Casemiro has not had a Tots card in the last two years because last year we had Cruz. We didn't have Casemiro. So that's kind of interesting that if we do get a Casemiro this year, I mean, we need that pace boost, right? I mean, actually, yes, last year he did. He was in Community Tots. That's where he was. But that's not going to be a very expensive card. Tony Cruz as well. That's obviously a really, really good looking card. Now, if you compare that to his card from last year, you know, 82, dri 82 pace, sorry, 98 passing. We need that passing to be up. Last year, this card had 98 passing, um, which I'm hoping they give a big juice on this card like they did. Five-star weak foot. I mean, this guy started off at about 300K and, of course, dropped down to 180K. So not going to be a very expensive card, but one that will be cool, right? One that will be cool to try, fun to use in-game potentially, for the passing stats that he will have, probably a great finesse shot. I mean, last year, Tony Cruz had the, I guess, never mind, he doesn't have the finesse shot trait, but he's got the long shot taker trait. So that could be a fun card as well. And now let's move on to the defense because, of course, we all know about the La Liga back lines that are so meta and overpowered this year. Rafael Varan, is he going to get a Tots card again this year? I think he might. But the thing is, Rafael Varan's Tots card this year it was expensive last year. I mean, it's going to be ridiculous this year with how OP this guy is in game. Jordi Alba potentially getting a tot. Looks pretty good. Oblak or Courtois. Well, I'll show you some notables that could be in this squad also in a second. Kunde getting in as well. Now, Kunde's had some informs this year. And, of course, that road to the final that has got a lot of hype. Uh, again, we had some decent center backs that came out during uh, Premier League tots. We have more good center backs looking like they could come out here. Kunde, of course, Varane uh, getting in as well. I mean, Varane's going to be expensive, but this Kunde card, I think, could be a real game breaker because his body type and game, you guys that have used the road to the final, you absolutely love that card. Um, I think that one's going to be more of like a cheap slash budget beast. You know, you look at a guy like Fofana, who's 250K right now. This Kunde card is probably going to be a little bit better than him with 87 pace. That's a lot of pace, right? So we're looking at some good center backs that could be coming out here with La Liga team this season. Now, take a look at that Varan card, right? 91 pace, 95 drip defense, 93 physical. I mean, you take a look at his card from last year. He had 95 pace, 97 defense, 93 physical. Maybe not as good as last year. I mean, this card was around the 1.5 mil range while he was out. Then, of course, dropped down after that. But you take a look at Varane this year, and his road to the final card is already 1.3, 1.4 million coins from where he has been. And he's been a lot higher than that, too. So this card right here, I mean, Varane's going to probably have right around 90 pace or over. I hope they give him a big juice. But Varane's first day price, he's probably going to be around that 2 million coin range if he gets a big upgrade. If they make him a 94 or a 95 rated Tots card, this Varane could be expensive and it could be, you know, really OP and really meta in game. So that Varane's probably going to be the most, the second most expensive card behind Messi when this Tots squad does get released. So those are kind of my notables from the starting 11 for what B could be. Um, inside team of the season. Now we'll go to a, another list here, maybe some of the bench cards. We, of course, we fill out a squad of 15, some other cards that could make it in or be on the bench. Oyarzabal, right? He, he has been, had a really good year, multiple informs, got that headliners card. Um, that could be a nice left wing, right? With a boost, all 90 stats, except for physical and defense could be decent. Iago Aspas, again, another year with a lot of informs. Griezmann has been playing well as of late. Um, potentially a Griezmann card getting upgraded as well. That could be a fun one. Now, I don't think Griezmann's card last year as a left um, on the left side really made that much of waves. But in FIFA 19, we had this 97 center forward Griezmann at Atletico Madrid. And this guy started off really expensive. You can see in the three mil range, dropped off in the two mil range. But I mean, there's no way that Griezmann is that expensive this year. Only with if there's only 90 pace on that Griezmann card. I mean, last year he was, you know, 1.2 mil down to 780k. So a Griezmann card this year 
is going to be nowhere near that expensive. I mean, this card looks pretty good, right? But only 90 pace. If they're only giving these smaller upgrades for team of the season, it's not going to look that insane, but it's also not going to be that expensive. So these are some other notables that I do think could get in. So yeah, overall, La Liga Tots looks interesting, right? Of course, you've got the Messi. You've got the Messi that you could be seeing in here with uh, hopefully 99 rated, and hopefully they just juice up the stats for La Liga. Benzema could be very interesting. Again, rolling through these cards one more time. Llorente is going to have a lot of hype. Cruz, Casemiro, okay. Decent, right? Decent. And then, of course, you look through the defenders and you see Varane, Koundé, Jordi Alba could be pretty good. And I think, you know, when you talk about La Liga back lines and you can't go without mentioning this foot birthday Ferlin Mendy. And that's what I want to talk about just a little bit at the end of this video is some La Liga cards that are going to be something you want to watch for that maybe not be actual TOTS cards. But, you know, as we saw last week with Premier League, a lot of the out of pack specials, the other um, La Liga special cards in this game are going to have potential to rise later on because of those links to those hyped up cards. So this Mendy card, if he doesn't get a TOTS or some sort of objective or SBC, this guy is going to be crazy, right? One of the best left backs in the game. He's 800,000 coins. He's dropped off a bit. I would keep an eye out on that card. I would also keep an eye out on this other foot birthday Real Madrid guy, and that is Modric. 222,000 coins. That card's going to be kind of fun to use for people in, in the game, I believe. So just watch out for some of your other special cards. Ansu Fati as a Barcelona striker, right? That's still a card that is team of the season-esque, right? He has end game stats. He's 1.1 million coins from Barcelona with the Spanish links. Really good, really meta card in game. So I would want 100% keep an eye on this guy, Ansu Fati, as well. 1.1 mil actually looks pretty cheap right now. But again, that's kind of my prediction for La Liga team of the season, man. I really, really hope that they give Messi a 99 rated card. They juice up the stats. And hopefully they saw how, you know, not very happy we were this last uh, time period with the Premier League Tots. And I really, really hope that they give a massive, massive boost to some of these, you know, La Liga Tots cards. I hope they do them well. I hope they see that. We were not very happy with how things went in the past couple of weeks. And they... They do the business on these cards. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this prediction. Of course, try to throw in some price predictions as well and talk market a little bit to make it more interesting than maybe your average prediction video. But of course, this is coming out on Friday in FIFA 21. I think that date specifically is going to be Friday, May the 7th is when we will see La Liga team of the season dropped inside of FIFA 21. So if you have any questions, comment them down below. Let me know what you guys think. Of course, drop a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate for the count and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.